Welcome back to Messy World. And if this is your first time here, welcome to Messy World. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get into today's story. Yes, the story came out by page six that OJ Simpson has been bragging that he had hot steamy sex with Chris Kardashian, which at the time was his best friend's wife. Now, according to page six, this happened during a 1990s hot steamy hot tub trice. And when this happened, ruined the marriages between Nicole Brown Simpson and OJ Simpson and Robert Kardashian and Chris Kardashian. So how this came out is because OJ ended up telling his manager at the time, Norman Pardo. And Norman Pardo is breaking all of the inside secrets that have been hidden for years in his new documentary, Who Killed Nicole? Now, Norman Pardo explains the situation as Nicole and Robert Kardashian, they were tired of being in the hot tub. They had enough. And so they went to bed and they left OJ, which at the time was 44 and Chris, who was 36, alone in the bubbling hot tub. Now, as you know, Chris and Nicole were very good friends at that time. So OJ stood up, he pulled his shorts down, and then Norman Pardo says, I'll give you exactly what he said. These are OJ's words. He says, her eyes bugged out of her head, and I effed that B until I broke her. Okay, so Pardo remembers this on his documentary okay and he says that was as messed up as you can possibly get the alleged one night stand had a long-standing consequence for the four best friends okay so norman pardo says from what i'm understanding from what oj told me everything was great up until the little fling they had okay so the fallout from the hot tub incident damaged all of their relationships for Norman Pardo said and as you know the Kardashians divorced shortly afterward in early 1991 and then Nicole Brown and OJ Simpson split by early 1992. Pardo claimed Simpson told him the alleged fear also caused Chris now known as Chris Jenner to be sent to the hospital okay she was breathing in physical pain according to OJ Simpson he said they had to take her to the hospital at two or three in the morning she came to OJ's room and cried can you take me to the hospital and he said no have Rob do it so OJ Simpson who is now 71 did boast of the rendezvous and basically uh talked about the damage that he caused because of his large manhood and he was bragging and saying all these things to norman pardo during a 2003 limo ride from raleigh north carolina which norman pardo was taking oj simpson to an atlanta nightclub three years after the alleged hookup happened is when the 1994 murders happened of nicole brown and robin robert goldman so robert kardashian did join the so-called dream team that represented oj simpson during his murder trial but norman pardo is saying that it was more out of a practicality rather than a, out of friendship so norman pardo says when oj was found not guilty robert kardashian did not jump for joy and as you can see in these pictures taken during the time of oj's uh, verdict being announced robert kardashian did not look very happy he did not jump for joy at all uh he didn't have a smile on his face he kind of looked baffled like he was very surprised that oj simpson got off well as you know robert kardashian did die of cancer in 2003 and just a month after their 1991 divorce chris went on and married bruce jenner which everybody knows now is caitlin jenner and she came out after they divorced in 2014 so norman pardo has not released his 90 minute uh, do documentary yet he is searching for someone to take it up he's searching for distributors it eventually will get released on june 12th to mark the anniversary the 25th anniversary of the murders of nicole brown simpson and robert goldman so oj simpson and norman pardo are no longer speaking to each other and then norman pardo is saying in his documentary that you know when oj simpson came to him and revealed that he had a thing with chris jenner it did not surprise him because apparently oj simpson had to think about being the dominant male he often would talk about his male counterpart and norman pardo recalls a conversation conversation that they were having where oj simpson talked about all of his sexual accolades and he said the last girl told me that if i wasn't 10 inches she wasn't interested i said 
I like you. I'm a little turned on. But I'm not going to cut two inches off for nobody. Obviously, OJ Simpson was basically saying that he's bigger than 10 inches. He's more like 12 inches. Well, Chris Jenner and OJ Simpson have not returned any messages concerning what Norman Pardo is talking about. However, OJ Simpson has always adamantly denied ever sleeping with Chris Jenner. And he told a former prison guard that he would never tap Chris. And in 2013, Chris Jenner shot down the reports of having an affair with OJ Simpson. Simpson. She said that that is absolutely a lie and not true. She said, I never had an affair with OJ Simpson. And that's what she told In Touch Magazine. Okay, so those are the words of Chris Jenner and OJ Simpson. But as you all know, Chris Jenner is known for tipping outside of her relationships because she did have an affair on Robert Kardashian. So the likelihood of her having an affair with OJ Simpson is a little bit higher because she has had a history of cheating on her husband and also as you know she is in a relationship with a black man and even her daughter Chloe have talked about how on the show Chris did enjoy getting it in with her with her boyfriend Corey Gamble okay so Chris Jenner is a fan of the BBC so it's really not that hard to put it past her that she might have got it in with OJ Simpson but I don't know let us know what you think about this OJ Simpson being put on blast for his uh, hot and steamy rendezvous with Chris Jenner. What do you think about this? And will you be watching this documentary that's going to be being released by OJ's former manager, Norman Pardo? All right, leave a comment. Please like, share, and subscribe for more messy entertainment.